Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday 7th of June 2023. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral Newcastle and my name is Catherine Bowyer. I'm the Dean of Newcastle. I acknowledge that the Cathedral and St Peter's Hamilton stand on the unceded lands of the Awabakal peoples. And the Cathedral and the Deanery where I'm recording this service stand on the unceded lands of the Waramai peoples as well. I pay my respects to Elders past and present to any First Nations people who may be joining in this service of prayer today. With the Cathedral Parish community, I'm committed to the journey of Makarata, of reconciliation, of repenting of sins of past and present, of listening with humility to the wisdom of the elders and seeking to learn, walking humbly upon this sacred land and seeking always that all may care for the good gifts God has entrusted to us in creation. Wednesday morning prayer is found on page 401 of the prayer book. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 90 and our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the name of the Holy and Blessed Trinity, revealed to us as the Creator, the Redeemer and the Sanctifier of the world. Amen. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing and everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 90 on page 318. Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were born, or the earth and the world were brought to be. From eternity to eternity, you are God. You turn us back into dust, saying, Return to dust, O children of Adam. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday passing, or like one watch of the night. You cut them short like a dream, like the fresh grass of the morning. In the morning it is green and flourishes, at evening it is withered and dried up. And we are consumed by your anger. Because of your indignation we cease to be. You have brought our iniquities before you, and our secret sins to the light of your countenance. Our days decline beneath your wrath, and our years pass away like a sigh. The days of our life are threescore years and ten, or if we have strength, fourscore. The pride of our labours is but toil and sorrow, for it passes quickly away and we are gone. Who can know the power of your wrath? Who can know your indignation like those that fear you? Teach us so to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Relent, O Lord, how long will you be angry? Take pity on your servants. O satisfy us early with your mercy, 
that all our days we may rejoice and sing. Give us joy for all the days you have afflicted us, for the years we have suffered adversity. Show your servants your work, and let their children see your glory. May the gracious favour of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. We consecrate this day to your service, O oh Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, beginning at the 23rd verse. After they were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and everything in them, it is you who said by the Holy Spirit through our ancestor David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and spoke the word of God with boldness. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. For our canticle this morning, we will say Canticle 7 on page 428. Canticle 7 on page 428, a song of Christ's goodness. Jesus, as a mother you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, increase in us your gift of faith, so that, forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before us, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
We continue this week to pray for the world, especially for creation. Yours the light in creation's dark, separating order from chaos, bringing brightness to the barrenness of what once was. And then in Jesus, human flesh articulates your way, for in him renewal finds meaning, transformation finds focus, the power of love is unleashed on the world and in the people you love. You have made your people and place goodness in their hearts, not so that it can remain there impotent and unemployed, but be released and set free and put to work to overcome what demeans and diminishes. So then, summon out this great energy within us for love lies latent. Do not let our potential remain silent nor our godness remain dormant and unfulfilled. We know of the dark forces that stalk the world in our time, the potency of poverty, the evil of famine and deprivation, the power of greed, the hideousness of war, the fascinations that distract and serve to defocus us. Word of the Father, save us from these and use us to show yourself to others so that we ourselves become your life-giving, transforming word. In the pain of these hate-filled days, in the anger that calls for revenge, in the fear and suspicion that wrecks our relationships. Let our involvement, like the involvement of Jesus, bring hope and radical change where they need to be. Trinity of love, draw us into your community of love. Make the ordinary special, the unremarkable sacred, the everyday different and holy, and so, therefore, divine. Make us, then, more than a group that happens to hold some things in common, more than neighbours who nod to each other in the passing and smile the smiles of polite and respectable convention. Make your church a community of friendly companions and let us be the tasty wine which enlivens experience so that our own and others living is richer and far more complete. Eternal God and Father by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.